So how do you cultivate candidates? How does that happen? <laughs> Your community is probably filled with people that are already leaders. Um, if you think about the people who have been around for a while in your, uh, let's say, PTA um, or let's say nurses or any kind of um, worker group, sanitation workers, um, folks who live in a particular community, um, folks who live in an elder community, mm -hmm. um, people that are already active in local power, um, people that are already trying to find out who is making the decisions about how your lives are affected, whether it's through school or through public transit or any of the um, many different community issues that, that affect us every day. Um, yeah. Those leaders are there. You know those people that everyone around them trusts. Mm -hmm. You know those people that if they say, I'm going to make this decision, a lot of people they know are going to follow suit, right? Why don't those people run for office? That's a great question. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. they, don't, they don't have that support. They don't have that coalition, which is what the Incorruptibles is here helping folks to build. So this whole idea is one that we kind of really grabbed onto after mm -hmm. reading Jane McAlevey's book. Yes, let's credit Jane McAlevey. Oh, we did not come up with this idea. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jane McAlevey, who is a you know, 30-year expert on union, somebody that has worked with people on the ground for many, many years. Has she's, been, she's probably yeah. one of the most successful union activists, yeah. union organizers in the last 30 years. She's yes. incredibly successful and has yeah. written multiple books. And she calls these people organic leaders. Right. Yeah. People who are already leaders. They're already trusted by their communities. Right. Um, and, you know, it's funny that you mentioned they don't have the support, like, of a coalition. Um, there, I think there are a lot of reasons why people don't run for office. Like, it never crossed their mind is probably the number for example, one reason. For right. example, right. Like, what do we think of when we think of somebody who runs for office? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We right? don't think the greatest things. No, uh, we're not yeah. thinking about the substitute teacher that lives next door to us That's or, right. you know, the, like somebody that really serves the community. We That's think right. we think of something else. Yeah. But in yeah. Oklahoma, mm -hmm. one of the people that came to our workshop emailed us shortly after and he said, you know, somebody asked me at the workshop if I would run for office. And, and he said that he'd been asked this a number of other times, right? Mm -hmm. And he's always said no. But after the workshop, he said, I am not willing to run for office as a Lone Ranger candidate, right? Ah, That's an RPA term, right. Veteran Progressive Alliance term, meaning just running for office as a candidate by yourself. Right. But he said, but I absolutely am interested in running for office with the Incorruptibles model and a coalition of people supporting me on a slate of candidates with a policy platform. And so he came out of that workshop just like, absolutely, I would run if this were right. the game. Right. Um, and this is, and sorry to interrupt, but just this, this is the workshop that the Incorruptibles gave. That's right. In, that he attended. He attended an Incorruptibles workshop yes. in Oklahoma. Yes. Um, and after that workshop, someone, as he was walking out, asked him if he would run for office. And this was his reply, right. which he then emailed to us. Um, so it's, it's in part because people just wouldn't think of it. Right. But it's also because it's not... It's not that great to run for office by yourself. but it It's is... not that great to do anything by yourself. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's Spoken what I think. Spoken by but... two total yeah. extroverts. <laughs> that's me, the, we'll no. just be honest. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but I agree with you. It's yeah, not... but moral support is a huge part Absolutely. of life. Absolutely. Moral support yeah. and you know all the other things that you mentioned. All like the other types of support. Right. And um, having other candidates that you're running with that you know yeah. are going to, if they all, if you all get elected, that you'll be able to pass certain policies once you get into office. All of these things are yeah. really great yeah. um, convincing reasons why right. people might run for office who would right. never have run otherwise. Right, because they didn't know that people would have their backs. That's so right. when we build these coalitions, um, these folks who are running for office know that they, they have that support. If you like this YouTube video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to donate or volunteer, you can visit us at theincorruptibles.us. And if you want to learn dozens of tactics and strategies you can use to take over your city council, then visit academy.theincorruptibles.us, and all those links are below.